So hey guys, um, I just wanted to show all those people who don't have maize and hamsters what the maize and hamsters are like and what they do, sort of. So have you ever wondered what maize and hamsters are like? Well, this is my hamster. Um, it's Hope, the Hope hamster. She's covered in peace signs. Uh, I think she's pretty cute. So this is what she's wearing. A uh, flower that I got from the event that's going on right now and a striped sweater thing that I got from the Kinstyle outlet. So over here is all of her stuff. She has um, Cinnamon's Hearts, Waffles Waffles, I'm not sure what hamsters, I think it's Sunshine's Lotion, and then a ball that actually zaps and stuff, I think that's Zap's ball actually, <laughs> and um, she sleeps in her hamster bed over here plus the her hope clock and the flowers and that little hamster sign on the wall that I got from playing spree when I got to the mall and that little magic hat over there that I forgot to mention <laughs> so let's go maze and hamsters play in the maze let's go maze in So let's go to my hamsters. Um, I have three hamsters, Sweetie, Honey, and Hope. Actually, I think her name is Cinnamon, not Sweetie. Don't know where I got that from. So I'm going to switch to Hope. And I also have the ball of the other two hamsters, Cinnamon and Honey. So if you go to the hamster hamlet, there are three options there. Moolah Mountain, Key Craze, and Gift Crap. We're going to play Moolah Mountain first. These are daily activities, so you can only do them once a day. So let's do Moolah Mountain. Now I warn you, I really suck at this game. So if you see a coin or whatever that would have been great for me to get, and it was really easy to get, and I don't get it, don't judge me, because I'm really bad at this. So that's the mountain. They give you a little preview. And those are the instructions, but I already know how to play. It's pretty straightforward. Use your keyboard to collect coins and go down the hill. Three, two, one. Go. Shoot down the hill, collect the coins, use your left and right arrow keys to go side to side, and your spacebar to jump. I often run into trees and things, so <laughs> I'm not a good navigator. Or driver, I suppose you would say. I can't drive a hamster ball very well. Yeah, I just ran into that tree. Okay, so going down the hill, through the little thingy, the holes, the rock o opening thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alright, <coughs> first checkpoint cleared. Okay, there's a fence there. Gonna go this way, to the left. Hit the speed thingy, pick up speed, hit another speed thingy, go under the bridge, hit another speed thingy, go behind this, or go in front of this fence here. Yep, that works too. I'm a really bad navigator, like I said. Okay. Okay, let's go to the left here. Oh, get up. Yes. Okay. Over the ramp. And over the, okay, not over the ramp then. Oh, go in here. Yes. Underground gem weird place, yeah. There we go. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and make this green thing and then into the castle there. Or not. Yeah, I'm really bad at aiming this. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going up the hill. Am I going up the hill? Yeah, I was going up the hill. Okay, well, this is the right way. I'm going down the hill now. I'm going the right way. You have to make sure you're going the right way because you're timed in this. As you can see up in the left-hand corner, I only have two minutes. So I have to kind of hurry up. If you don't make it to the end of the maze, or the end of the hill, by the time the time runs out, I'm not really sure what happens because that's never happened to me before. I've always completed it. But I would assume that you just don't make it to the end and you don't get a bonus or whatever. I don't really know. 
Oh my gosh, I ran into another tree. Get up there, or not. Keep going. Okay. Get in this thing. Or not. Yeah, see, I suck at this. I'm, I've practiced, but I just, nope. Just, no. Okay, let's go up here. Get some points in there. Shoot across. Let's go up here, or not. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not good at this. So, continuing on, on the speed thingy, through the little wood thingy, and down through another wood thingy, through the rocks, under this bridge thingy, speed jump thing, get up here. Oh, don't fall down! Oh my gosh. That was extremely close. Edge. Okay. Keep going, keep going down the hill. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da. Go up. Good. Out. Another checkpoint cleared. Every time you catch a checkpoint up there, okay, you get 30 seconds added. Oh my gosh, that was close. Again. So you get 30 seconds time added to your time every time you pass a checkpoint, so I think that's why I finish it every time. Speed thingy. Whew, got that big line of coins. That was good. Maybe I'm not that bad at this game. I'm still pretty bad. Okay. So here's the end of the road. And boom! Falling into nothing. Okay, so I got the hamster stunt stop bonus jacket. Um, some moolah collected time bonus. Now let's play key craze. There's also gift crab, but we're gonna play key craze first. So you have three minutes to find a key that opens the chest in the center of the hamlet. So I found my first key there clearly. And that one doesn't open, so my hamster is upset. By the way, she kicked the floor. So I'm going to crawl up this thing if I can get up there. And up these steps here to see if there's another key. Or right over. Yep, okay. Well, I'll just check this log then I, instead, I guess. Oh, yes, key. Boom. Oh, there's another key. I guess I'll come back for that one. Go around the corner and try to open the chest. Step back. Okay. Cool, it opened it. So I got cookies, cookies, and one maize and moolah. Now it's time for gift crab. Gift crab. So you have to search the hamlet for gifts, and every time you find a gift and you... Excuse the dishwasher making noises in the background, if you can, if you guys can hear that. Um, so you have to try and find presents, and then when you open them, they give you something like a tube design or a room that you can put in your own maze when you create your own. So there's a blue one right here. Let's open that one up. Cross junction, cool. So we'll probably put that in a maze. Oh, there's another one. A ski jump, cool. So now I have a ski jump and a cross junction to make to go towards my own maze. Let's jump onto this flower. Okay. And jump onto this log. Or the ground. That works too. Climb back up that please. Okay. And jump onto this log. Or the ground. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, I'm really bad at this. I told you that. So let's continue searching here for a third present. Anyone there? No? Okay, let's go up here. Any in there? No? Okay, let's go through there. Into the lake. Let's ride the lake for a bit. Go under the bridge. Continue riding the lake. <sighs> Let's try to make this jump, but considering I have no skills, I probably won't. And into the lake I go, just like I said. Okay, let's try and make it again. Yes, got it. Alright, so is there one in here? No? Alright, continuing on. Is there one in here? Look in there? No? Okay, go up here. Jeez, where is this third present? It's somewhere in here. Let's go up here. Over this way. Yeah. Let's 
go up these stairs here. Go around. Step number one. Step number two. Step number three. And number four. Any presents up here? No? I don't want to try and get across that broken bridge, so I guess I'll just jump onto this flower. Down here. Ooh, is there one in this log? Yes! Finally! A golf room. Cool. So in total, I got a golf room, a ski jump, and a cross junction. And I earned eight maize and moolah today. So, let's go back to the menu. So, you can also go into the challenge zones of the hamlet, which includes the forest, which we were just in, and the castle area, right in the center, and then the sort of lagoon-type pond on the right, which is fun. It glows and it's kind of dark, so yeah. So, then if you go to play mazes, there are three options. So let's go to challenge mazes first. Challenge mazes, can't speak. So you click one of these, and each of them have a whole bunch of different mazes. So that one has six, and um, there are tons of them. And you click play to look at all the mazes. So yeah, that one has eight. So you click play, and then it takes you to this screen where it shows you the different mazes in easy, medium, and hard levels. And you click go mazen, and you can choose to walk or go in a ball. And once you... Oh, yeah, those down there. Um, that's tubes and rooms, how many there are. That's how many Kins Cash you can get and Maze and Moolah down at the bottom there. And then that's the trophy you can get if you complete the whole thing. So, yeah. Then if you go to Beat the Clock, you can... It's basically the same deal. You can pick anything from any of the sections, but I'm not a huge fan of that one because you're timed, and I don't like being timed. I like taking my time. So then there's Community Mazes. And that's where people within the community of Webkin's World can make their own mazes. And that's where you can submit your own, too, if you create your own. So you can be... Oh, that one looks really cool. So um, you can basically just make your own or see other people's and try them out for yourself if you want to. So that's community mazes. And then... In Create Maze, you can create your own maze with the tube designs and rooms that you collect from uh, Gift Crab. So I have three because I have three hamsters, but I've only actually created one of them. So you click on Build at the top there, and in this area is where you can create your maze. So you click and drag a piece from the side there and into the front, and you can press the check mark to put it, place it there. And then if you want more pieces, you can select a piece that you want to build and then press the little plus signs to add your hamsters to build it for you. And depending on how many hamsters you have working on it is how much time it takes. So that's how that works. And every time you get a new hamster, you can make a new maze that you can put in the community. So if we go back home now, you will see an option to go to Maze and News and an intro video and that's basically where you just find out new things going on in the Hamster Hamlet and mazes and such. So then there's the Maze and Mall button and when you click on that it takes you here where you can buy Maze and Rooms, Maze and Ball Designs, Maze and Tubes, and Maze and Tube Designs for the tubes that you buy. And then right here you can buy Webkin's items that you can put in your Webkin's rooms. So that's how much money I have. It's 2000 something. And then, um, yeah, I usually buy the Webkins items, but I'm going to save up more because they're sort of expensive. So that's basically how the Maze and Hamsters works. I have three, Honey, Cinnamon, and Hope, and these are the other ones. They have Christmas ones, Halloween ones, ones that are actually lifelike, and then sprinkles and cookies, and those are the e-store ones. I like the e-store ones. So if we go back, that is the Maze and Hamster section of Whipkins World. So if you don't have one, I suggest you get one. It's really cool. And thank you for watching. See ya.